Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and I want to explain something about Cypress data session command. Sometimes it's very convenient to have a room or some data, like in this case the data basement, that is created once and every time you run the test it's still valid, you don't have to recreate it. That's great. But sometimes you reload the whole browser. In that case, notice it says first time for session basement. It is recreated. If we close the browser and open the same spec again, it thinks it's the first time for session basement, even though that room actually stays in our database. This opening and closing between specs happens every time you do Cypress run. When you use Cypress run, then every spec reopens the browser. So your room and your data is gone. Why is it so? Because when you use Cypress data session, it's the same as saving the data under some key, let's say foo 42, in Cypress env object. So just memory inside the current browser process. If you reload the browser, then that environment variable is gone. So we need to solve this somehow, right? I would love to check if that basement room or some data has been created for real and not lose it between full browser loads or between specs. That way I can set up, for example, a test user or some test data, you know, complicated setup once and share it between the specs. So in order for us to do it, let's look at site data session. And right now it's a custom command and it's not on type uh, Cypress. That's why we have to use data session types. So this now tells me where is data session and where is the parameter to site data session. If you use it with option object, right, where you provide name, setup, validate function, then you can add one more parameter, share across specs. By default, it's false. But if you set it to true, here's what happens. If you need to save it instead of saving it in Cypress and this value after being computed is actually sent to the plugins file, which means if you have your plugins object, you have to register the data session plugin, all right? So every time you compute or recompute this value, it's not just stored in Cypress end, it actually gets sent to the plugin process where it is stored. You can see it if you look at the messages in debug mode, that Cypress data session plugin outputs, we're saving the basement room ID in the plugin process. Now that plugin process stays the same as long as Cypress is running, right? Notice I did a full browser reload and it said the data basement is still valid because it went to the database, found the room, yeah, it exists. Even if I close and reopen the spec, it loads that room ID from the plugin process by using a task that it has registered and checks it and it is still valid. So if I have multiple specs, they can all reuse the same room as long as another, product, another spec doesn't clear it. One uh, advice I can give is right now we have a single spec has room. So I suggest that you move all this setup code into utils. So here I'll take this function and I'll export create room. I'll delete everything that we don't need. And in my spec, I'll import create room from in this folder. Okay. So every spec has to import. Okay. And every spec will uh, reuse the same create room. And the assumption is that the spec shouldn't care if another spec has created or it has to create it. So create room abstracts creation and caching of the data and validation so it knows when to recompute it. So let's take uh, this spec has room and say has room two. Notice it's the same code, right? Same create room. So now if we close this file and open has room two, it doesn't have to recreate the room. It's already there. So this is how you use side data session with share across specs parameter so that all specs can share the same data already set up once.